before you do anything in this video, you need to create a restore point. If you don't create a restore point and it messes up, you kind of displayed yourself. I'm warning you right now, please do not skip this step. Simply, if anything goes wrong, just go back to the restore point and you will restore your PC to the time before you did anything. All right, what's going on YouTube? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to overclock your controller. I'm gonna be showing you on the PlayStation controller simply because they're better for it. If you're on the Xbox, it'll still work, but the amount that you actually overclock will be minimal. It won't be that much. After doing some thorough testing, I've found that Xbox controllers are generally locked to two polling rates. But if you're on a PlayStation, you can get it down to like one millisecond. This only works on wired controllers. Link in the description will bring you to this website. All you want to do is download hidusbf.zip. I'm gonna click on it and then click download. It is a zip file and you're gonna to need to extract this folder. The way how I like to do it is I like to copy everything in the folder, create a new folder in my documents tab. I like to name it overclocking. And then inside here, I just paste everything. And then you wanna go inside in driver and then you wanna click setup. So first thing I'm gonna do when I load up is change the device menu to all. It's gonna show all your devices. And then you're gonna to wanna to find out which you know device it actually is. So it says child's name. I'll say something, you know, controller at least in it, and then you'll be able to like figure out what it is. What you wanna do is click install service. Then you wanna click filter on device. Uh, if you get this error, it just means you have a uh, secure boot on. You're gonna to need to turn it off. If you're on Windows 11, you might not be able to turn off secure boot. So, you know, it might just not work for you. I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna come back. It's in your BIOS. I can't really like show you because every BIOS is different. To enter the BIOS, you need to restart your PC and either press delete and F2 while it's loading up. You'll kind of get the screen pop up. Different for every BIOS. So I'd recommend to school your BIOS and like how to get into it. This is how mine looks like. It's an MSI. Uh, essentially, you want to look for advanced settings and you just want to look for the option that says secure boot. For me, I went into Windows OS configuration and there was secure boot and I disabled it. Now that I'm back from disabling it, I'm gonna click filter on device again and click install service. See, there's no error. Now I'm gonna change my rate to the highest available. For you, it might be 10,000. For me, it's 8,000 because I'm on one of the newer controllers. Reconnect your controller. You'll see now on the DS4 windows, my input delay is at zero. But if you do something wrong or something doesn't work as intended, you can just go back, no problems. But yeah, that's it for me and I'll see you in the next video. Let's go! Cause I'm feeling like I'm running and I'm feeling like I gotta get away, get away, get away. Better know that I don't and I won't ever stop. Cause you know I gotta win every day, day. Yeah. See if you really, really wanna pop me. Go. Just know that you will never pop me. Go. And I know that I gotta be a little cocky. Go.